<coughs> Sorry. Hello, fellow simulates. Oh, it's been an exhausting day in the simulation. And just a, here's, a, here's a little cute, fun story. And as big as a dick as I am, and I'm mean and I'm nasty, but I still have a good heart. So this is just the cutest little story. So this guy shows up. What time is it? I don't know, almost 8, 8 p.m. So about, about a half hour ago, he shows up at my house at the farm. And so he's 85 years old. His name's Dave. He's looking for New Richmond, Wisconsin. This guy don't know his his ass from a hole in the ground, and I, I hope he made it home okay. I offered him a, a place to stay, but anyhow, he's a, you do you, I do me. So he comes here like, I'm trying to find New Richmond. I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure you take, you know, 95 to 36 and 35. Go, but let's stop at the gas station because my phone is dead as always, you know. Ugh. The never-ending story of these phones and the charger. So anyhow, so... We go to the holiday, and the kid, actually, he's he's a good kid, too. He's going to be a Marine. I love this kid. <laughs> but he's not going in until next summer. I hope he's not eating crayons, because that's what those jarheads do. But, so anyhow, so, I, okay, here we go. You go to St. Croix Trail, you head north, head to 36, head to 35. And so he gave me a ride to my other house, which my life's complicated, but anyhow. And he was the sweetest old man, and... Well, no, so here's my hypothetical question. I've really been trying to figure this out. Do things happen for a reason? And I think they do, because I have all these weird coincidences and happenstances and just w meet people that I... Just my, my life is... It's super weird, okay? Okay, so then on the... Uh, the paradox of things happening for a reason. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and I don't know the answer to it. I think that things do happen for a reason, but I think you have two paths. You can take the easy path or the rough path, but you're gonna end up the same way. <laughs> e either way, it's all, well, it's all gonna end in death and horror and suffering. <laughs> and this getting old shit really sucks. My body has been so, so beat. <laughs> I guess I should quit skateboarding when I'm 55. But anyhow. So, anyhow, the other hypothetical, and, and leave a, actually, I, I would like more comments. I, I My viewership is getting up there. Remember, poke the like, stroke the subscribe. But, okay, so, if things happen for a reason, yes or no, maybe it's, maybe it's all happenstance, or it's random, or the, why I'm I'm a firm believer in the simulation, but but so conversely to that, do we have free will? Do we have control over our actions or what we do, or is our brain just a bunch of what's his name uh, Sam? I don't know. They're, they're the podcaster. I don't know, but he but he's against free will, and whether whether it's true or not, if you don't believe you have a choice then what are you? You know, if you have no control of your actions, you're just a zombie. Well, you're you're an NPC, as we call it. So anyhow, so that's the two questions for today. Uh, do things happen for a reason? Post a comment. I want to comment. The first 10 people to write a comment get a free T-shirt or tank top or a good swift kick in the ass. And then conversely, do we have free will? Or is it just all going to happen the way it's going to happen? And it's it's really challenging. I mean, the, the two are like diametrically opposed because if everything happens for a reason, then you have no choice. I don't know. It, it just freaks me out. And 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 how this guy, this poor guy, would wind up in my driveway, which is like a quarter mile long in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's just so weird. <laughs> but... My life just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. <laughs> so remember, remember what we do. You poke it and stroke it. Or you can stroke and then you can poke. I think the ladies like the stroke and the poke instead of the poke, then stroke. But, well, they're all different, you know. Some people like feet. Some people like 
ears, whatever. <laughs> you know, you, I know. <laughs> but, but, but dude, and dudettes, could my life get any freaking weirder? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> oh, sorry, Lois. Lois G. Oh, shout out to David. David, I hope you make it home and don't hit a deer or end up in a ditch. So. <coughs> <coughs> Got some new ink. These are all the girls who broke my heart. But we got more room on there, ladies. We go all the way down. There might be some redundancies. We got like a Lynn, a Jenny, a Shelly, Michelle, you name it. They've all broke my heart. 